Hello, my great and wonderful people. How are you day today? I hope all of you are day well. Today we get some videos for our team. We're going to be seeing one quickly the review to you concerning the things we're going to be seeing if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. Asari Tokubo don't take Nigeria to be a own private property. Yes. As we did talk now, Asari Tokubo and his own people take a move to make sure say they stop uh, Labor Union Congress. Yes. Nigeria Labor Union Congress as that they protest Asari Tokubo gather in Ome, say by fire by force, say he will stop that protest. You know, honestly, we're not going to understand what these people they turn Nigeria into. Would they talk about rule of law? Would they talk about rule of law? Now, see Amebola Tenebo and his own people. They watch Asari Tokubo. They revolt against Labor Union Congress. Say because of say that they protest, they make demand upon the things going to be say if they affect Nigerians. Because of say Asari Tokubo, they benefit in a very big way for this very administration. It taken upon itself. To make Nigeria your own personal property. Abi, all right. Now, I'll first of all leave you, make you see the people when they be say Asari to Kumbo gather to your own self to stop the Nigeria Labor Congress protest. I'll come back. <laughs> Right, my great and wonderful people, I believe say you don't see Asari Tokumbo and your own man. The movement when they say they talk, say they want to stop uh, the Labor Union Congress and their own protests. Now you tell me how EBC country like this will take better. Country when EBC Agbiru, they detect the fits of the intelligence one. Tell me how it want it better. Country where EBC, the government, they empower Agbiru. To oppress the people when it be say yes, they be legitimate owner of the land. Tell me how he want it better. A country where it be say the government they empower Agbiro to suppress the rule of law just for them to have their own way. Tell me how he want it better. Share as we they talk now. All those old cargo African leaders, when it be say they don't want greed die, they don't want greed come up for position, they don't want allow the light of Africa. To shine now, all of them they stand up, they rebuke Niger soldiers because of say they take over power. When did they start all the things like this? They know they understand say now fire now either they gather. And when it be the fire with the bone, you will see and all of them with the stand up, they talk rubbish. Sorry, say we they use all these strong words because honestly, we must call a spade a spade a time like this. She unadosiana. I'm a bola tenebo and the old people. No see Asari Tokumbo to tell and say, now the right of Nigerians to protest when it be said things not the right. 
I believe say, this protest of the Labour Union Congress now, it not be violence one. Tell me why ABC will go see opposition like Asari Tokumbo and the old man. Now truly, he talks, say anybody want to be say stand up to rebuke uh, Amebola Tinibon and the old government, say they will get them home with them. Now they don't start them small, small. They don't start them small, small. All right. Now, so talking this concerning that matter, we'll leave you to share your own opinion with us in the comment section. Yesterday, we received this video when it be said they come from the media and publicity secretary of Amebola Tenebun. Very fine speech. When it be said they come as I say, never again it will take happen. Say the president or any presidential aide will stand up to talk to Nigerians anyhow. Say gone are those days because now. The will and the desires of Nigerians must be respected. They must give Nigerians room to air their view. I will make Una hear this very fine speech first. We'll come back for a reason. I believe the first and most uh, important uh, point I would want to make is that uh, this institution belongs to Nigerians. It does not belong to any political party. It does not belong to any public official. It belongs to over 200 million citizens of this country, uh, both at home and abroad. And it is with that understanding uh, that we will be engaging the world. Uh, we believe it is the right, uh, not a privilege, but the right of every Nigerian to have full access uh, into the affairs of the presidential villa into the affairs of the office of the president and the office of the vice president. Uh, we will be more open uh, in terms of uh, providing access to information uh, to radio networks, television networks, newspapers, and online news media uh, than ever before. Uh, we are committed to ensuring that uh, there is a zero tolerance policy on every spokesperson and every media functionary that works here uh, in the government uh, for, in terms of how we relate uh, with Nigerians through the press. Uh, gone forever, uh, by the grace of God, are the days when government spokesmen and women uh, will speak down to Nigerians, uh, would use condescending language with Nigerians, and would uh, display some form of uh, institutional arrogance toward Nigerians. That will not be tolerated under my leadership. Uh, I want to uh, be very clear that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a man of empathy. He is committed to the cause of opening the presidency to Nigerians for the benefit of not just Nigerians, but to the benefit of uh, public office holders because it is in the interest of public office holders to know that they are being watched so that they can be held accountable to deliver on the promises uh, of the president in terms of the execution of uh, government policy. Uh, and we are going to, in very short order, uh, announce a series of very tangible measures that have to do with the opening up of this institution on a daily basis in a deeper and more comprehensive way uh, than has ever been seen before. All right. I believe say Una don't hear this very man, the media and the publicity secretary of Amebola Tenebon. Now, we don't get any problem with the own speech. Now, very fine one as we talked earlier. And we want to say from this very point a very big congratulations to you for your new office and your new appointment. But one thing when the BC will want to remember you from this very beginning, not past BC. The beginning, not the hard though. Uh -huh. Now the process to continue and also to end them now in be the issue when it be say it really matter. To gather some article as a speech just to get the attention or the love of Nigerians from the beginning not really be the issue but to deliver the message after the speech, na in matter. So, make una be very, very careful with the way when they una they rob the ego of Nigerians. Or they try to the emotionally blackmail Nigerians 
to buy them into una idea. Nigerians don't be past this very level. And so, make una be very careful as we talk earlier. Still, we day here, we day watch una with our eye wide open. All right, after that very one, on an international level, we received this video from the president of Russia, when IBC in him now, President Putin. This one at the Russia and Africa summit, when IBC it took place yesterday. This man come as I to review some certain things concerning the way that they try to build with Africa leader. I want me to hear a short clip from this very interview, although they interpret everything for English language. I'll come back. Уважаемый Уважаемый господин президент, дорогие друзья, мы признательны вам за то, что вы решили лично... Making this decision to have the Cameroonian delegation at the Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg. This is your first visit to Russia. We stayed in contact. We held phone conversations. So thank you for making the decision to travel here personally. Ties between Russia and Cameroon are developing in the spirit of mutual respect and partnership. Next year, we are going to celebrate 60th anniversary of establishing diplomatic ties. I hope that our meeting will give an additional impetus to strengthening cooperation between two our countries. We stand in favor for enhancing our political dialogue and developing contacts at all levels. Bilateral trade, unfortunately, last year reduced a little bit despite certain reduction of the Russian export import from Cameroon to Russia grew by 17.5 times. The main thing is to ensure the sustainability of our trade indicators. We will support the training of the Cameroonian personnel in the Russian colleges and some 2,000 Cameroonians Cameroonian nationals were trained in Russia. 814 students are now studying in Russia for the next year. We have doubled the quota for the Cameroonian nationals to allocate 100 scholarships for them. There is interest in Cameroon in studying the Russian language. This April in Douala, we have inaugurated the center of the open education in Russian. More than 150 school children and students are attending this center. We have overlapping attitude towards the modern day issues. We advocate the polycentric mo model of world order, the supremacy of the rule of law, and no double standards in the world. We are grateful for supporting Russian initiatives in the UN, so I believe we are working quite actively. And in overall, we achieve good results on the international arena. So once again, welcome, Mr. President. Mr. President, first of all, allow me to thank you for inviting us to this important summit, the summit between the Russian Federation and Africa. And I would like to thank you as well for the quality, the great quality 
of the welcome extended to us of hospitality, we were very well received. And I would like to congratulate you, by the way, on the great organization of our work here. And we have come because our countries have diplomatic ties that go back many decades ago. You spoke about accomplishments that we have in our relations. We will speak about it in a while, but we have traveled here with an understanding that this summit will help us to make the friendly ties between the Russian Federation and Cameroon even stronger. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe you don't hear everything between these people. Now, the reason why basically we carry this video call, listen to us. How many years this President Pobiar of Cameroon be now? And how many years in this spend or the utilize for your own office as the president of Cameroon? Calculator. Tomorrow now, if we come here and say cool happen for Cameroon, they will say na democratically elected president, right? This on a democratically elected president. Each and every one of us understand the kind of war when it be say it they go on for Cameroon because of this man. And still, we understand how many people, many souls, don't die because of this man. They don't want to give up. They don't want to give the citizens the right to decide who will lead them and how they want to make the person they lead them. They, they buy force themselves upon the citizens. And anyone will be say he rise up against them, that they destroy their lives, destroy their family, just to have their own way. And if something happens tomorrow, People like this Russia, they will stand up to back people like this because of say, then they benefit from their own head. I believe so you see the trade. When they say our leaders, they use up the trade with the foreign body. And also, all those foreign bodies, when they say you see, say that they stand up, they rebuke the few individuals, either soldiers or civilians, when it be say they take up the responsibility to take power from their leaders. You will understand, say now, because of say that they benefit from these leaders, these old cargo leaders, not because of say they love the people or the citizens of that very country. We see how it be say the world leaders still they stand up, they rebuke the people of Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali, and every other African nation when it be say cool don't take place. Where soldiers don't talk, say enough, don't they enough? I believe say, you see what did they happen. All right, so talking is concerning this matter, we'll leave you to share your own opinion with us on the comment section. All this small, small coup, when we say when they hear for Africa, so now small one, no, compared to the ones when it say it will happen, it will be much even dangerous and also more serious than this one when it be say when they joke with so. All right, now so talking is concerning this matter, we'll leave you to share your own opinion with us on the comment section, even as we draw the line of this broker. I say, we'll see you again when we see you. Remember. We love you all. Bye-bye.